I worked in McDonald's for seven years and this Big Mac burger was my favorite. I used to eat a lot, guys. I used to eat, 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 eat a lot of Big Macs. That's why today I'm going to um, use this Alex example. Hello family, welcome back to Start Up Hustle. My name is Kwame Chumesi. So, I have the exact same tutorial using a different product example um, in a country in the description section below. So please click on it to suit yourself. Today, we're going to look at how to price your products. I think most people do not know this. So please relax, um, sit down, get a bit of drink and follow this tutorial. I'll prefer or I recommend you watch this tutorial from the beginning to the end so you can understand the whole um, scenario okay so without talking too much let's get right into it okay so to help us determine the price we will charge our customers for our product we first need to um, calculate the cost involved and the cost is going to be equal to your product materials plus your labor so product materials as to how much you bought your raw materials for um, any shipping involved any um, what do you call it any packaging involved any marketing involved any rental properties and extra um, thing involved you have to make sure you have all these cost things written down on paper once you calculate that then we also need to calculate your labor cost so if you have people working for you you need to calculate how much you're paying them per hour or per month and their productivity as to how many products they can sell within a given time let's go and take a look at a live example so today i'm going to use the big mac okay the big mac burger from mcdonald's i worked in mcdonald's for seven years and this big mac burger was my favorite i used to eat a lot guys i used to eat 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 a lot of Big Macs. That's why today I'm going to um, use this Alex example. Um, my journey at McDonald's was very interesting. I grew a lot. I learned a lot. Um, if you want me to share that story, comment below and, I, and I'll do a tutorials as to what I learned with my seven years working at McDonald's. Okay, so I was working at the back area with those people, with those of you watching that have worked at McDonald's before. Yeah, I was working at the um, back area and, and I was the fastest ever. Yeah, so we have the initiator, the assembler, and the dre oh the dresser, the assembler and the dresser. I forgot, I forgot it, guys. Yeah, so that's a, another story to, to share some other time. So today, let's look at how we can um, give a price for this um, Big Mac burger, okay? Now, before we come to um, the breakdown of the ingredients in the Big Mac burger, um, we need to get the raw materials. And of course, every raw materials comes with a weight. Okay, so to determine um, the price you're going to give to your product, we have to calculate from the product perspective, not from the raw materials perspective. And you only need to do this once okay so let's say if um you you, you have like um, um, a bag of pickles yeah the bag of pickles is going to have a bit of weight in it okay yeah so if you're going to use two pickles per um per burger you know how much weight um the pickles is going to weigh so that's why we normally do not calculate the raw materials but we calculate from the product's perspective and this will give you a clear understanding as to your costings so now let's look at um, the ingredients um, involved in making a big mac burger so we have the top bun all the prices i have here they are not the exact prices i just guessed okay so this is not the exact um material cost in making a big mac burger so please do not judge me on it all these cost things are from my head okay so in making a big mac burger we have the top bun which is the top bread so let's say that costs 10 cents we have two beef patties so the first beef patty let's say 15 cents we've got two pickles that is 10 cents we got lettuce that is um, let's say 15 grams of lettuce is 10 cents we got onions five grams of onions is 10 cents we got um the big mac sauce this big mac sauce mm -mm -mm -mm. It's really really yummy and it's only mcdonald's that can make this sauce that can make this big mat sauce they don't want to like share them what do you call it the recipe yeah so we have like 10 mil of um, mac sauce let's say that's also 10 um 10 cents we have the middle bun which is the middle bread that is let's say 20 oh that's a bit expensive i i spelled middle wrong forgive guys yeah so we have the middle bun that's 20 cents we have the another beef patty which is 15 cents we have one slice of cheese 10 cents we got another 15 grams of lettuce 10 cents we got five grams of onions 10 cents we got another um, shot of um, 10 mil of big mac sauce 
10 cents and we got the bottom band which is um, another 10 cents so when we calculate all this material cost for one burger is costing mcdonald's one dollar fifty okay so for each um, big mac burger is costing mcdonald's one dollar fifty in the material cost now let's go look at the labor cost Okay, so let's say this is Kwame Chumisi and I work for McDonald's, okay? So um, we need to calculate how much um, McDonald's is paying me to make one burger. Now, McDonald's pays me $10 per hour and in every hour we have 60 minutes, if this makes sense. Okay, so in every two minutes, I make one burger. Yeah, so I'm very, very quick, man. For me to um, toast the bun um, assembly, what do you call it um all the ingredients together put the meat patty in it wrap the burger it takes me two minutes meaning every 16 minutes or every one hour i make 30 burgers now so to calculate for the labor for my labor for mcdonald's um it's going to be this ten dollars times the two minutes divided by the 60 minutes okay so 10 times 2 divided by 60 and that's what we have here so 10 times 2 is 20 divided by 60 is 0 0.33 so this is saying that for every burger i make um it's costing mcdonald's um 33 cents does that make sense so every burger i make per hour mcdonald's is paying me ten dollars per hour and in that ten um ten dollars i make thirty dollars per hour so for each burger um it's costing mcdonald's um 33 cents um, for me to produce one burger and this is the labor cost it's really easy and simple if you do not understand let me know oh actually i can um, create like an excel um, sheet for you guys then all you have to do is to input all these numbers and automatically it's going to give you your material cost your labor cost and your overall overall cost so if this is something you want me to create for you let me know in the description section below and i'll create it for you okay if i have more people saying they want it i'll um, just spend like 30 minutes and create a nice excel sheet to help you calculate your material and labor cost so now we've got our material costs we've got our labor costs so now the um total cost um for each burger so the product material is um, was costing us one dollar fifty cents and the labor was costing us 33 cents so together to produce um one burger is costing mcdonald's one dollar 83 cents again this is not the final cost of course um if they are renting a place for their restaurant they have to factor all this cost but with this tutorial i'm just going with the basics okay we're just going with just the burger and not the other cost things like taxes um their suppliers and all that yet so we're just going with just the burger itself so to make one mcdonald's and um, big mac burger is costing mcdonald's one dollar and 83 cents now since this Mac, um, big mac burger is costing mcdonald's one dollar 83 cents we have to make sure the price we give to our burger is greater than one dollar 83 cents else we are losing money is that clear one burger is costing us um one dollar 83 cents we have to make sure the price we give to this big mac should be greater than one dollar 83 cents now let's go look at some pricing models and um, we have different types of pricing models so we have the commodity price so this is like the general price we give to products yeah and it's like a general term general formula everyone uses we have the perceived value pricing we have the market price and we have the competitive price let's go through one by one okay so with the commodity price this is the formula every retailer or most restaurants owners use okay and i'm not suggesting this this is the formula that everyone needs to use so in terms you have a product you want to give the wholesale price of your product um, the wholesale price is going to be the cost times two and if you want to give the retail price of your product it's going to be the wholesale price times two i hope that is clear so now let's go look at a real example 
Um, so with the Big Mac burger, it cost us um, $1.83. So if I want to determine how much I want to sell for wholesale, let's say I've got people that I distribute the Big Macs to and also go and sell. Okay. So if I want to determine the wholesale price, it's easy. It's all. Um, it's going to be basically the $1.83, which is costing me times two. So I have to sell the Big Mac burger $3.66 as wholesale. Okay. And if I want to sell this Big Mac at a retail price is going to be this um three dollars 66 times two which is going to be seven dollars and 32 cents per burger i hope this is clear yeah so this is straightforward guys and most retailers and restaurants owners and most companies they use this pricing rule so if you are stuck and you don't know what sort of pricing um price to give to your products this is the answer right here guys it's not rocket science it's really easy again if you have any questions comment below and i'll be there to help you out now we have something we call upselling so um sometimes when you're just selling one product you don't make um like a bigger prof um, profit margin if you want to expand or to get more as to more profit from your products you have to do something called upselling so most restaurants owners do this a lot now let's take this same mcdonald's burger okay now if you are buying just the burger mcdonald's is going to sell um this burger to you for seven dollar thirty three or thirty um for seven dollar thirty cents per burger now when you go to mcdonald's you'll be like oh do you want to upgrade to a meal this is cause when they sell you the coca-cola um, the soda drink and fries they make more profit because the pro their profit margin on the coca-cola and the, their profit margin on the fries is higher than the profit margin on the burger so when they sell just the burgers to you their profit margin is really small but when they add the soda or your um, soft drink and your fries their profit margin becomes huge so they'll be like oh do you want to upgrade to a meal and when you upgrade to a small meal they are going to charge you ten dollars thirty cents when you upgrade to a medium meal they are going to charge eleven dollars thirty cents when you upgrade to oh sorry guys this should be large yeah and when you upgrade to a large meal it's going to cost you twelve dollars and ten cents this is called upselling yeah they are trying to get more value for their money okay so when you go to mcdonald's and be like oh do you want to um do you want this in a meal this is cost um when they sell in a meal they get more profit they make more profit per um per the burger or per sale if that makes sense so guys app selling works okay so instead of using yet selling one single product you can bundle the products with other items that will give you more profit margin and sell them together okay so let's learn from the big guys so mcdonald's is really good at this the most um what do you call it restaurants are also good at this when you go they want you to get a meal oh do you want to get an apple pie um do you want to get this do you want to get this do you want to get this because when they sell all those little things they make more profit so let's learn from mcdonald's again the prices here are from my head okay i'm not saying when you go to mcdonald's one burger is going to cost you seven dollar thirty now this is all from my head let's continue now we got something called perceived value so with this perceived value let's say um you have your own restaurant and you've built your brand to to the point that most people see your brand or your restaurant or your product as five star okay so in regards to this you can break the commodity rule you don't have to go with the same costings so, so the exact same burger at mcdonald's um from fufufu eats which is like um, a high brand that most people know instead of me charging for like seven dollars 33 cents or seven dollars 30 cents i can go for 30 dollars per burger and trust me people will buy so this is like you basically like going to like a high-end restaurant and with the same meal the restaurant is going to charge you more why because they've built their brand and people respect their brand does that make sense yeah so if you know that if you believe in your in the brand you're building and you believe that um um, most people respect your brand and you've built your brand to the point that people see value in your brand you can increase your price you can just go times 10 times 20 and still people will pay for your products we have something called the market price so this with this market pricing model this is when um 
other companies will look at the prices um they are um, the same um companies in the same niche are charging for the exact same product so let's um, let's just guess that um, KFC, McDonald's, Burger King, and Pizza Hut, and um, Pizza Hut, they all sell burgers. So if McDonald's brings out like a Big Mac meal, KFC has got like a Big Mac meal, like a um, KFC Mac meal, and um, Burger King has got like a um, Burger King Mac meal. Pizza Hut has got they don't sell pizzas, but they've got like a um, Pizza Hut Mac meal. Yeah, they will all look at the prices each company is selling their products for and they'll try and sell their products in the same range most people do this so if you are confused as to what price to give to your product um and you don't want to use the um, commodity pricing rule you can actually go do a bit of research as to the people that are selling the same product as you in the same niche look at how much they are selling their products for and you can average on the price and also sell your products at the price they are selling their products so let's say if mcdonald's is selling their um, burger for like seven dollars you can sell yours for like maybe six dollars yeah but not um, um too low or not too high so you still stay in the same range so that is what is called market price look for look at what other retailers are selling their products for and also come up with an average price and sell yours at the exact same price and last but not the least we got something called competitive so let's say you're a new company you want to pet, um, penetrate into the market but you got people already doing what you're doing so if mcdonald's is going to sell their burger for let's say seven dollars you undercut and go as low as two dollars i highly do not suggest this okay for like small businesses yeah so if you're a small business you're an entrepreneur and you're starting out and um you, you want to penetrate into the market do not just go go too low yeah, because when you go to low, um, it's going to be really difficult for you to um, increase your prices in the future. But if your prices are high, yeah, you can always decrease and give sales. Okay, yeah, you can run sales on your product. But if you go to to low, it's going to be really difficult, um, difficult for you to increase your prices in the future. Um, so if you have any questions, please comment below and I'll be there to help you. So let's say you go with all these pricing models and you are still struggling to make sales. Then I'll say maybe go and rene um, go renegotiate with your suppliers so they can reduce the um, um, raw materials for you. Um, try upselling as I said in the, um, in the tutorial. Try and reduce labor costs if you are paying your... Um, your employees let's say ten dollars per hour try and reduce it or try and increase productivity so they can make more burgers um in an hour but still maintaining the quality if that makes sense or just change location okay change location or just reduce the amount of burgers because um, mcdonald's use burgers used to be really really big and as time goes on yeah in the in the like in the upcoming years instead of them increasing the price they'll be reducing the size of the burger that's what most companies also do okay so if you think they are going to lose do something about it okay and 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 make sure you're making profit if you're in business and you're not making profit you are not in business you are running a charity company that's all guys my name is Kwame Chumesi again if you want me to create an excel sheet to help you calculate all these um cost things and to also help you determine how much you need to sell your products for let me know in the comment section below and i'll create the excel sheets for you guys if you have any questions comment below i'll be there to help you if today's the first time you're coming on startup hustle please show some love and click on that subscribe button ring that notification bell so when we release any amazing content you do not miss out my name is Kwame Chumisi. talk to you soon bye